welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making Santa's Cocoa Mugs. Fine selection of mugs here that we got for free at some garage sales. We're going to turn these little beauties into Santa's Cocoa Mugs. We appreciate your support, so please hit subscribe and like. So if you have any mugs that you're not using anymore in your cupboard, use those. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. Like I say, we got these at a garage sale, and this one we got from our cupboard. We're not using it anymore, so we thought we'd make a recycled project out of it. These ones are two promotional mugs, like I say, we got for free at a garage sale. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do them up, change them over, and put them to good use with a Santa's Cocoa Mug. So here I am painting the mug. To start the project, we did sand the mug first so that the paint would stick better. And here we are putting in the second coat because one wasn't quite enough. And we're using Rust-Oleum red paint. So try to use the biggest mug that you have. Santa gets thirsty and needs some cocoa to stay warm on his travels. So this is our mug. This is our second coat. So we had to cover some lettering underneath. And what we're gonna do on that, we're gonna put Santa's belt on there. Now we're using some of this that we recycled from another project, but you can use any black ribbon, black felt, gold felt, foam, whatever you have. We're gonna be gluing the belt on, on here. Then we'll put on the buckle right there. Make sure it's centered. And there you have it. We have Santa's belt on his mug all ready. And then we're gonna do some lettering on here to say that it's Santa's cocoa mug. So the lettering part of the project would be uh, much better if you had a Cricut and if you have one, great. But if you don't, you can hand letter it. So here I'm using a pastel or uh, any kind of uh, pencil just to sort of roughly mark it in and just to give you an idea of where the letters go just sort of mark halfway so you can figure out you know which half of the letters are gonna go where and then you can also put lines on the top and sort of break it down like a old elementary school print book and for the record I wouldn't recommend drinking from this cup we're not going to but uh, it's just for the display only so here you can just sort of roughly uh, Sort of scribble in like little lines so you can see where you're going to be writing your Santa's cocoa. The cost of this project cost us nothing. Zip. So if you want to save some money and check out some other crafts, please check out our uh, channel. And here's how you might draw in some guidelines just so you can keep your lettering straight. You can just keep your palm on the bottom of the cup, keep your pencil steady and just roll around and then adjust the pencil to different heights. So the advantage of using a pastel crayon, if you have one, is that it can be wiped away later as well. So you don't have to worry about that being in the background. For the lettering, I'm just using a Sharpie or a felt marker. So we'll just carefully go over our outline and that should give us what we're looking for. So now we're going to be putting candy canes inside, so I'm just using this as a test to see how far I have to go. And I'll be stuffing newspaper in the bottom of the cup to the level that I want. So that's about the depth that I want. Now I'll take the top, I'll flip the mug over, draw a circle from the top of the mug so that I can make a cardboard circle to put inside to keep it a flatter area on top of the newspaper. Once that's inside, I'll just adjust it and flatten it out so we have a nice surface for the candy cane. There we go. So 
now we filled the cocoa mug with a bunch of candy canes and we're going to put this on our front porch for our flyer people, uh, mail people, anyone delivering stuff and parcels to our home. And they can all have a nice candy cane. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas! This is Santa approved. Ho ho ho!